dear students today we are going to discuss the politics of planned development which is third chapter of the book politics in india since independence for class 12th there are three important words included in the title of this chapter politics planned and development it will be better if we know the meaning of all these three words so that the whole of the chapter whole of the concept is clear what's development it's very important to know development the definition of development the meaning of development development is economic growth with social and political justice development is to raise the standard of living of the people then there is a word planned planned means planning what planning is even in a smaller unit like home planning is very necessary what is the income of the house what is to be spent on education what amount is to be spent on food what on electricity and what on medical bills etc so this type of planning is done in each and every house so in a bigger unit like a country planning is more important we must know the resources of the country we must know about the expenditure which is expected what to be done how to be done when to be done and who will do it planning is to avoid the wastage at a later stage planning is to anticipate what will be the benefits of a particular program what will be the demerits who will be benefited by these programs and if this program is not implemented then what will be the harm so planning in advance is anticipation of the things which are to happen at a later stage so plan development is very essential in the sense that we had got experience of the great economic depression of 1930s then during the war economic reconstruction of japan and german and also the success of economic programs development in the ussr so in the context of all these three it was felt by the leadership of india that planned development should be the target of this nation development has different meaning for different people now let me take case of odisha which is very rich in iron ore an industrialist who is interested in establishing a industry will be interested to establish an industry in odisha because iron ore is available there for him development is establishment of an industry for urban people development means availability of steel which will be required for many a construction purposes and establishment and of industry of steel will provide them with the amount of steel required for development but a person who is living in that remote area of odisha where iron ore is available in abundance will be feeling differently meaning for development for that person is different because if industry is established in that particular area he may be displaced and the establishment of industry in that area may pollute the environment cultural unification of that particular area may also be got disturbed so for that particular man living in that area this may not be a development so development means different for different people then who is to decide about what type of development should be done in this country naturally no experts can be allowed to take decision about this no scientist can be allowed to take decision about this because the ultimate power to decide about development is in the hands of the people who are to attain this development who are the target of this development so people are to participate people are to decide about the development which they require but this is a big democracy which is being practiced through representative 
So, the representative of the people which are elected leaders are to decide about the development of a particular area. These elected leaders from different areas form parliament or are they are in the legislative councils. So, if we look at the three words politics of planned development, then it is very easy to understand now that development which has been planned and which is to be done through the elected people, elected leaders of the area. So, in this chapter we are to study about the politics meaning by that no expert, no scientist and no economist can decide about the development of a particular area. It is the people who are living there through their representatives, they are to decide as to what type of development they require and what type of development should be done in that particular area. At the time of independence, there were two models of development which could be followed by our country. One was pro capitalist liberal model of development which was prevalent in America and many countries of Europe. Other was pro socialist which was pro poor pro common man model of development that is socialist model of development which was prevalent in USSR. In India, most of the political leaders were in favor of socialist model of development which was prevalent in USSR. Communist Party of India, Socialist Party and many leaders in the Congress just like Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru were in favor of this model. And even the big industrialists which commonly I assumed that they are not in favor of government interference, they are in favor of open market. But in India, a section of big industrialists gathered together after independence to ponder on this question, to think about the development and they drafted a proposal to the government that planned economy should be the path of development for this country. So, this model of development which was pro socialist was not a sudden development, but it was well thought and a common consensus was there on this issue. So, planned economy was adopted by this country, but to be very clear we did not follow blindly this model and even we did not blindly rejected that model which is called capitalist model. We selected the elements of both the models which were good for the health of this country, which were good for the development of this country and that is why our economy is known as mixed economy. It is neither called pro capitalist, neither called pro socialist. So, mixed economy is the path which we have adopted and on which we are working since independence. On the basis of this consensus, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the then Prime Minister of India constituted the planning commission. It was constituted in March 1950 and it presented its first draft in December 1951 in which more emphasis was laid on agricultural sector. It was thought that if agrarian sector is developed, the whole of the country will develop. So, more emphasis, more funds were fixed allotted by agricultural sector. In the second five year plan, this emphasis shifted to industrial sector. Why? Because in the first five year plan, a lot of money was spent to help the poor farmers, but result was not in form of more production. Production could not be raised because the land owning farmers were very influential in political and social circles. So, all the land reforms, all the laws made for the benefit of the poor peasants were just on the paper and they could not be implemented. So, 
it was thought and more or less pandit jawahar lal nehru was interested in the industrial development of this nation so that infrastructure is available for further development so in second and third five year plan more emphasis was laid on industrial sector and if we look at all these three five year plans results may be not that satisfactory which were expected but it is very clear that a strong foundation for the future development was laid during these 3 5 year plans in 1966 when fourth 5 year plan was to be laid then country was facing acute problems in the financial sector in the economic sector as well as in the agriculture sector there was famine line condition in whole of the country particularly poor areas like bihar were not having the sufficient food to feed their citizens deaths due to starvation were in the news so at that time planning commission thought of a plan holiday and it was shifted to some years during those days it was thought that some type of program should be implemented we should give us more production of rice and wheat because due to scarcity of food we had to depend upon help from usa which desired to influence our economic policies to keep ourselves safe from the influence of america we decided that some program should be implemented which should give us more production of wheat and rice so green revolution was a program which was introduced it was a nothing new program but only the emphasis changed now help was given to those farmers which already were well off which had got irrigation facilities so the help given to them in fact converted itself into more production and the production of wheat and rice raised so the problem which we were facing at the late 1960s was solved so the second and third five year plan which laid more emphasis on industrialization there was a problem which was to be faced by the planning commission of that time because heavy investment was required for industrialization and also india at that time was not technologically developed so we had to borrow technology we had to purchase technology from other countries so a lot of foreign exchange was invested on that so the problem of agricultural development increased this way we will see in the next chapter that how this problem was solved so at present we have studied about what is meant by development what is meant by planning and how it was executed in india and how the three five year plans first in 1951 second in 56 and third in 61 which laid stress on agriculture and industry did laid a strong foundation for the future development and the present development which you see all around is a result of that planning which was made in the earliest years so this is how we understand about the politics of planned development in our country thanks